setting the road map for ISRO's future propulsion. ISRO Chairman K7 highlights that Liquid Propulsion Systems Center, LPSC, is set to play a lead role in the development of light craft for interplanetary missions, which will have the least payload weight with maximum thrust and high speed. It is not just the aircraft, the target is to develop light craft using laser propulsion for interplanetary mission. With such light craft, powered by high speed laser propulsion, it will be possible to go to Mars in 4 to 8 minutes and the challenge is for LPSC to play a lead role in developing that, ISRO Chairman K7 told Toy, when asked. With that, crucial components such as air breathing propulsion systems, ABPS, control system, fluid components and a lot of technological innovations are being developed for the reusable launch vehicle, RLV, at LPSC, he said. LPSC has also set the challenge to develop powerful advanced cryogenic engine, semi-cryogenic engine and green propellants to end the use of toxic propellants, for that electric propulsion systems are being developed at LPSC. In addition to the advanced cryogenic engine being developed, semi-cryogenic engine will be developed in 30 months for the advanced GSLV MK3 mission which will be used to launch 5.5-ton class satellites. The GSLV MK3 mission, planned in July for launch of 4.4-ton satellite, will be powered by a liquid core stage L110 stage, which uses two high-pressure Vikas engine for combined high thrust, in addition to a powerful cryogenic upper stage, C25. In the next GSLV MK3 launch, Semi-cryogenic engine would replace the liquid core stage L110, 7 told on Monday. LPSC is also developing the 800 Newton thrust main liquid engine for soft landing on Moon. With Chandrayaan-2 to be launched by October, the challenge is to travel to other planets using high-speed reusable, reliable and cost-effective light crafts and to propel LPSC into the world science map, he said. Chandrayaan-2, India's second mission to the Moon is a totally indigenous mission, comprises of an orbiter, lander, and rover. After reaching the 100-kilometer lunar orbit, the lander housing the rover will separate from the orbiter. After a controlled descent, the lander will soft land on the lunar surface at a specified site and deploy a rover. The instruments on the rover will observe the lunar surface and send back data which will be used to analyze the lunar soil, 